Hi, John Tutson with Paladin Karate, and we're going to do another Garage Dojo video. Today we're going to do the first of a series, hopefully, of a technique of five different styles of disciplines. I'm going to be real quick, trying to pick out stuff that seems pretty um, illustrative of the styles, or, or, or the styles are well known for these certain things, like the old karate chop, knife hand. People call karate chop because that's using karate a lot. At least that was first introduced to most people in karate. Some styles, boxing, of course they don't do that. Jiu-Jitsu, they don't do that kind of stuff. They should, there's use of force. So right now we're going to do Karate, Taekwondo, Propaganda, Jiu-Jitsu, and Muay Thai. I have black belts in Karate, slash Taekwondo, Krav, and Jiu-Jitsu. I do not have any um, uh, belt ranking in uh, Muay Thai, but I know enough about it to show you some stuff. Good styles tend to blend. So first, Karate, the old Karate chop. That's a knife hand, hitting this part of the hand, right there. It's called a knife hand because it's, it's, it's got more energy. Just uh, A knife cuts because it comes to an edge. If you try to cut butter with a knife this way, it's going to smush it. Cut it this way, it's going to slice it. Because the same amount of force now in a smaller area, it's more effective. That's a knife hand. There are uses for that. Somebody grab me right here like this, and I can't use this hand. All i got to do is move from the elbow down to the fingertips, and I can hit it. There's bottom fists and hammer fists, all kinds of stuff like that. Knife hand is very good because I'm going to slide into small areas here and hit them right there. I love knife hand right there. That's going to knock people out. In fact, I was fighting a bad guy one time, so a cop trying to arrest him, and he was moving, and I sidestepped and I hit him like that at the back of the neck. He went down, boom. Like he fell off a ladder, cuffed him, and that was it. He thought I hit, hit him with my big, gigantic flashlight. It was a knife hand. So it's very effective. It's a knife hand. You'll probably chop. You have inverted ones and the normal ones. That's just a knife hand, that's known for karate, that is effective. People don't think it is, but it is very effective. So that's the first one for, for, uh, for karate. Taekwondo. Taekwondo is known for its jump and spin and high kicks. I'm brushing a bad knee, so I'm kind of watching on some of these things. I'm going to show you a pretty, uh, an easy one that's, that's definitely seems for ta uh, Taekwondo more than anything else. It's a skip side kick. So instead of, if I want to kick somebody over there, for whatever reason, now most fights I'm not going to be, I don't want to close the gap. I want to open up the gap. You say the guy's beating up some old woman, I'm going to go there and beat him up, save her, I need to get over there, or whatever the reason is. Or we're fighting, I got pushed into a car, he's there, I can finish it off with a good side kick, smash him against the car. So I'm going to right a stance. A skip side kick is going to be a quicker version of a step side kick. I'm going to jump up, replace the back foot where this one was, and load the front leg. So it's just that. Okay, so I'm skipping, and then as I skip the land, I'm going to throw that side kick out. Okay, so from here, here, skip, kick. From here, make sure I got enough room. Step it back. The back foot comes where this one is. And there's a side kick. From here, step back, skip, side kick. From here, step back, skip, side kick. Instead of stepping, I'm just doing a nice little hop, okay? I say skip side kick. There are uses for that. Uh, definitely uses for knife hand. There are uses for that. Probably more for knife hand than a skip side kick. Muay Thai. Muay Thai is known for a bunch of stuff. Elbows, low, mean, low kicks. Uh, mean, low kicks, and the clinch. Muay Thai clinch is a clinch is whenever you kind of wrap around like that. You see boxers kind of get tired and they're kind of hugging each other because they're just taking a break. You're going to use the Muay Thai clinch a lot because the bad guys are going to be on you. Go ahead and use the bad thing that happens. They're on you, get them. Now, it's not going to be holding if I try to hold my overhead. It's not like this. It's going to be like this. Okay? Bring it in. So the bad guy's right here. I can, hit, I can set this up, I'll kind of smack his ears, hit him, slide that in, it hurts, slide that in like that, and get this together. Go like that, and then squeeze his forearms in across his crowded arteries. That's going to already start choking him. Plus, it's hard for him to get out of it. They got you like this, you can't duck out like that. If they got your hands like this, you can kind of bob in and out. They got you in a Muay Thai clinch, it's tight and controlled. I can drag a guy around with his head right here, and drag him where I want, and knee blast the smithereens out of him, his face or his gut or whatever. So Muay Thai clinch is around their neck, their heads above your hands right here, 
and squeeze that in. That's a Muay Thai clinch. You can practice that, move them around, and control him, drop him down, whatever. That's Muay Thai. Crop. Let's do a crop and technique. Somebody grabbing me, there's a hundreds of ways to get out of somebody here grabbing my throat. Here's a specific crop and And it's kind of using body mechanics pretty smartly. Instead of trying to use force, you see people that don't know anything trying to muscle it off. All you got to do is do this. Raise your hand like you're in school and want to answer a question and rotate your whole body. I could get a guy that's 200 some pounds grabbing right here and I just do this and both or at least one arm's off. One's will come off, the other one's kind of like this. It's bent. So I can turn, step back, knock the rest of it off, and then I've got whatever strikes me there I want, okay? So I get here, turn, here, and then my follow-up, whatever I want it to be, okay? So if they're grabbing me, I can turn. It's not just do the arm, it's about an outside block. But here, rotate. I'm turning, see my belt movement? Turn in here, drop it down. Elbow, back fist, cross punch, more tight punch, whatever I want. So from here, I grab me from here, here, turn. He's grabbing me like this, from here. Turn the hands like that, drop, and his hands are off. Okay? Not going to work with your gigantic size difference. You got a teenager grabbing an eight year old. I'm not going to work, but then you definitely find for your life to do other stuff. There's a thousand ways to get out of that. Jiu Jitsu. Let's do, imagine we got a bad guy here. And you can practice this. You can practice just with four space, not anything else. So, like I'm doing. That guy's got me in a headlock. So, I'm standing here like this. Guy comes up right here, grabs me around like my shoulder, and hug me, and then bends me over like that. And my head's stuck out here. I'm going to pound my face in. I'm going to get in a good stance. As opposite from him as I can. I don't want to be lined up with him. I want to be opposite him. And I'm going to drop him backwards. The hand that's close to his body is going to come up, grab his hair or collar or something. If you don't have anything to grab, you can reach around his face. The hand that's on the outside is going to reach behind his knee that's right beside you. So the guy's like this. Back, my back hand's going to come up here, grab this front hand, or outside hand, and go right there. Here, slide your weight back, pull his head back, lift his leg. There's not a big size difference again. He's going to drop bump. Just like that, okay? So I'm sideways like this. Grabs me. He's right here. Grabs me up like this. Grab up here. Climb up. Grab it. Under the knee. Drop him down. I'm right here. He gets right here. Grabs me. I'm going to turn sideways. Here, I'm going to take it towards you, towards the camera. He's going to go that way. Right here. Grabs me. Oh, I got to turn towards him. Don't turn away from him. Get closer. If I want to get away from the smell and the stink, I'm going to be choking, getting choked. If I turn this way, his arm's on the outside of my neck. Got the muscle right there, okay? So I'm going to be here. He's right here. This way. Boom. Here. Out here. Take him down, okay? So we do them all. Karate knife hand. Skip sidekick for Taekwondo. Muay Thai clinch. Rob Magala, and escape from the headlock for Jiu Jitsu. We'll do some more. Thanks. Practice those.